Hi there, welcome to Ripcast here. This is a brief video. I'm going to talk about backing up Rune Nucleus. We've got a Rune Nucleus on our network, and what we're going to do is back up the internal database, but also the content which is on the internal solid state disk which is fitted to the Rune Nucleus. We're going to do that in two ways. We're going to put it onto a simple USB pocket drive, and we've also got a QNAP network hard drive attached to our network, and we're going to try and copy the data directly to that as well. We're going to do this using an Apple Mac computer, but the instructions are equally applicable to Windows PCs. Okay, let's get to it. So the first thing we've done is fired up the Rune client. So this is the latest uh, 1.8 version running on my Mac. And we're going to go to the top left hand corner and click on the menu option here. And the first thing I'm going to do is go down to settings here. And what I'm going to make a note of that we'll use later on in the video is the actual IP address of the actual device. So it's 10.1.100.109 in our instance. Yours are likely to be different depending on what your home networks can set up to be. So 192.168.1. whatever. And if we go further down this menu on the left hand side, we can see this option here for backup. Click on this and it allows us to backup now. So if I click on backup, it gives me the option to do a manual backup and it wants to, me to select a location and this backup that we're doing now is just for the actual database so this is the metadata that's associated with your music library that we're backing up and when we click that set location it offers us initially just a simple uh, Dropbox count we've also got this option down here to add a network share uh, but if I plug in a USB disk, uh, so I'm going to take my, my simple USB drive, plug it in using the USB cable directly into the back of the uh, nucleus, it will appear on that list. So I've now plugged in the uh, external USB drive, happens to be a C USB drive, and you can now see it has uh, appeared and it can see all the different folders which are on this drive. Now I am just going to select, there's already a folder I've created on here called Room Backups. I'm going to select that folder. There's nothing in there at the moment. Select this folder and then it start the backup. It'll take a few minutes to back up the database, just depends on the speed and type of your hard drive you've attached. Uh, we'll come back when that's finished. The backup is still running, it's at 96% now, last few minutes, and we'll have achieved our backup of the internal Rune database, which contains your, your music database, any edits, and your system settings, and your account settings, backing that up to the external C drive as a one-off operation. Backup's now finished, you can see it says now last successfully backed up at 17.03 and 15. Now let's look about uh, an alternative way to do that. Uh, so let's go into backups and backup now and so we'll do a manual backup. I'm going to select a different location this time. So we've already got our LC that we've just backed up to. We've got Dropbox if we wanted to do it to Dropbox. We've also got this option down here to add a network share. So that's what we're going to do. We've got the QNAP on the network. And so what we're going to do is map uh, or get the backup to go from the room nucleus across the network to a, a share on our QNAP. We add network share to connect from the room nucleus to our QNAP. Now we need to know the address uh, of the QNAP on our network. And there's a little utility that comes with QNAP called QFinder. Uh, different manufacturers have different ways of identifying their NASs. You can go via the host name, which in this instance is TS231K, or you can go via the IP address. So the IP address that we've got for our QNAP is 10.1.100.127. So if I put that over there and I'll do add network share, and it wants to know the network share location, and we just put this in backslash backslash. Now I could put the host name in uh, TS231K or I could actually just put the IP address in. So I'm going to put 10.1.100.127. Obviously that's going to be different uh, to your uh, environment. So that's specific to your NAS. And then a shared folder on that actual uh, device. Um, 
I happen to have a folder called backups and the username that authenticates me with the uh, with the NAS so I'm putting my username and my password and add network share all right so it's now got uh, mapped into that particular folder I can select that folder on the QNAP select this folder and start my backup and again it's now going to back up from the internal Rune database and put it across our network onto the QNAP NAS. Again, that's going to take a few minutes, so we'll uh, pause the video there and come back when it's done. The two backups that we've, uh, one completed and one in progress, are just single snapshot backups, so it's a one-off backup. As you can see on this screen, there is an ability to schedule backups so that they recur periodically. Uh, and typically you want to do that to some storage which is always available. So a QNAP network hard drive in this instance is a perfect solution. So if we go into schedule backups, I'm going to view, tells us we don't have any currently, so I'm going to add one. It tells me how often I want to do them. Uh, so I'll just accept the uh, default. So it's going to do one every four days and it's going to do it at 2 a.m. in the morning. So you need to make sure that the room's on and that your backup device is on and available at that time. And in terms of backup locations, I'm going to select Browse, and it already knows about where we've backed up before. So I could send it to my external USB drive that's locally attached to the Rune, or as I'm going to do in this instance, I'm going to select the actual QNAP NAS itself. Select this folder and save. And therefore, it's going to do that backup automatically on a scheduled basis, in this instance, every four days at 2 a.m. in the morning. And it's going to rotate those backups uh, over a period of, uh, of 10 uh, rotations and we can do all that setup whilst the existing backups going on so we've, we're doing a, a, a snapshot backup now to the QNAP and we've also set up a scheduled backup as well. Our backup still uh, trundling along here uh, going to the QNAP uh, but what we want to do now so these backups that we've done so far have just been the actual database uh, the room nucleus that we've got has got a physical solid state disk in it which has got some music on it uh, so if we want to actually back up that content, then again, these are network devices, so we can copy from the Rune Nucleus network device to our QNAP device, or indeed to our Mac internal hard drive. And to do that, we're going to use just standard uh, file tools, so we're going to use Finder on the Mac, or you'd use Windows File Explorer on a, on a PC. So we'll just fire up Finder. And I'll show you how to do that to copy files from the internal hard drive on the Nucleus and send them to the QNAP. So I've gone back to the general page of the uh, settings on the uh, Rune just to remind myself of what the IP address is of the Nucleus. So it's 10.1.100.109 in my instance. That'll be different for your system. I'm also I'm going to open up uh, Finder. So if I drink bring Finder uh, across here and as you can see uh, it's currently on a, a music folder locally on the internal hard drive. What I am going to do is in the Finder menu at the top here along the top I've got this option go and at the bottom of that I've got the option connect to server and what it wants to do is, is connect to a server and so what I do is I can put in the IP address of the Rune Nucleus. So SMB colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address of the actual Rune Nucleus and then I hit connect. It asks me if I want to continue which I do it's asking me for a username and password. I'm going to connect as guest in this instance. And here you are, you can see the internal uh, storage on the actual uh, Rune Nucleus. So there are various kind of uh, internal folders which are run the actual Rune core. And then the actual storage where your uh, internal and indeed external storage are located here. So internal storage. That's our internal solid state disk, which is physically inside the Rune. And we've still got our Lassie disk plugged in, and so that is also showing up here. So, if I uh, 
go into internal storage. You can see that these are now the actual folders where my music is, is located. At this point, I can perform any standard file operations. So I can select all those files. I can copy them, control C or edit copy, and I can paste them into a different location. So if I go back to my Lassie folder, you can see those and I could actually paste them directly in here. So if I do file, sorry, edit and paste, what it's doing there is taking from the internal hard drive on the Rune and copying it internally via the USB directly to the Lassie drive attached. Similarly, if I had music on the Lassie drive and I wanted to bring it into the internal drive, I would do the opposite of this. I'd copy off the USB drive and put it into the internal drive. As you can see at the bottom here, it's uh, copying whatever it is, 10 gigs of data, and it's trundling along uh, into the uh, external uh, device. The other option I've got is to connect, is to copy it across our network to the QNAP. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go to the Go menu again, and I'm going to connect to another server. Uh, we know what the IP address of the QNAP is. It's still over here in QFinder, so it's 10.1.100.127. So I'm going to connect to that. And it asked me, do I want to connect? And yes, I do. When we connected to the Rune, we used a guest account. There was no need to authenticate. We will need to add in a username and a password uh, unless you've got guest access enabled on, the, on your NAS. So I've put in my username and password into the QNAP. And okay, so it's now showing us a, a list of different folders which are available on the QNAP. So I'm going to uh, put the music content into this multimedia folder. And again, um, if so, I've got the two items here. What I'd like to do is to be able to see both side by side. So this is my view of the hard drive on the QNAP multimedia folder. So if I go to File and new finder window. So I've got two, two lots of finder here. This one is my QNAP. And if I click down here, I go on to 109. This is my Rune storage, internal storage. And those are all my music files again. And again, I can do exactly the same. I can select those files. I can edit, copy. I can click on my other window, which is the drive on the QNAP, and I can do edit and paste. And that's now doing a network transfer uh, from the Rune across our network onto the QNAP hard drive. So as you can see, it's, we've actually got two copies going simultaneously here. We've got still got the one going to the USB drive attached to the uh, Rune, and we've also got the new copy we've just started from the internal drive to the QNAP. Okay, I hope that was helpful uh, and you, you now feel comfortable to be able to back up your Rune Nucleus and to copy data backwards and forwards between locally attached USB drives or indeed network hard drives. Any questions about Rune, feel free to get in touch. If you like the video, please like and subscribe uh, and we'll do some more. Thanks for watching.